As more and more high school students graduate and decide to go to four-year colleges and universities, skilled trade workers are needed now more than ever. The Mid-Minnesota Builders Association is working to introduce students to the trades and show the potential career paths students can take. Reporter Rachel Johnson has more. A study conducted last summer in Minnesota found that 73% of construction firms and trade employers are having a hard time filling positions. There's a real shortage of talented, uh, skilled carpenters, electricians, plumbers out there and we think getting to them early, show them that some blue collar work is a good thing and there's career paths, we'll get them interested after high school and help out with our labor shortage. The Mid-Minnesota Builders Association started a program three years ago to introduce students to the possibilities outside of a traditional four-year degree. Our mission as a board and as a membership is to visit area high schools, letting students know about different career options past high school. It's our third year of doing this, uh, area schools in the areas we we service, which is Crow Wing County, um, Lower Cass, and, and part of Wadena County. Fourteen trade businesses from around the area packed the gym today at Crosby Ironton High School for the first Tools for Schools of the year. There's nothing off, off base that they can talk about. They are welcome to ask any types of questions. We just want to have them have a little bit of a snippet on different career opportunities. Along with the event, the association donated $1,000 worth of tools to the shop classes at the school. This is the first Tools for Schools event of the year, with two more coming up in Pillager and Pequot Lakes. The businesses range from construction to electrical companies, all teaching the ins and outs of what it's like working in the trades. I think that it's important um, to, to let kids know that there's options beyond just the, 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 the four-year college route. Um, th there's a lot of good jobs out there right now. So going to a trade school after high school might not be the traditional route. Those who do will learn valuable lifelong skills. Those are skills that, you know, that might be your career, but that's something that you can take with you and no one can take it away. There's been, uh, I think, a lack of, of showing kids what life can be like, um, you know, pounding a nail or, or, or being a plumber or pulling wires. There's a lot of, a lot of good lives that can be done. Reporting from Crosby, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. The next Tools for Schools event will be held at Pequot Lakes High School on February 26th. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.